is coming to embedding embedding concurrent assertion in a procedural block this is what we have seen right so again we'll uh, see this uh, this line a concurrent assertion statement can also be embedded in a procedural block if the statement appears in an always block the property is always monitored okay if the statement appears in an initial block then the monitoring is performed only on the first clock tick getting so uh, we know that uh, we can embed we can declare a concurrent uh, statements inside a, um, inside always block um, or initial block e initial and always blocks uh, procedural blocks we know that thing right okay so uh, if you are declaring an uh, uh, concurrent assertions inside a always block means it will be monitored at every simulation uh, clock tick okay but if you are not mentioning inside a uh, always block or uh, if you are mentioning inside a initial block then it will execute only once at the in a first clock tick okay next uh, look at this example here what we are using property of name r1 okay so inside that what you are declaring your property declaration definition is q is not equal to d okay okay now what you are uh, using in the first box uh, inside an uh, always uh, inside an always you are asserting that property are uh, getting this one assert property r1 right okay here you are assigning before that you are assigning one non blocking assignment what is that q is equal to d1 you have assigned q is equal to d1 and uh, now you are checking whether this property hold true or not okay so it will go and check this one whether it's equal to d or not if q is not equal to d then this assertion will get fired right okay so uh, um, the same kind of structure is equal to this one here what we are doing property r1 at passage of m clock q1 q is not equal to d in the property okay so look at here here we are using this we are uh, embedding the clock inside a property and look at here again we are using this one so outside an always block you are you are asserting this one assert property r1 here we have used assert directive inside an always block but here we are using outside okay so writing a statement outside always block is equal to writing an always block in writing an assertive assert directive inside always block okay getting shall we go to next one now look at here what we are doing here enabling condition is also enabling condition is uh, also inferred from case statements look at this example here we are using property r4 at passage of m clock if the q is not equal to d this is our property okay then inside an always block we are using one case inside that case first case expression is 1 and the second case expression is r for p okay so in that in one of the case expression we have defined uh, this assert so assert property r4 right okay so yeah that's it and then we are using end then default statement so this is all about this case statement which is reside in always block okay now what we are doing this same construct is equivalent to declaring the same asset property outside but how we are using here property r4 same like this we have declared property r4 at passage of m clock okay and here the look at the property declaration property definition if a is double equal to 1 and non overlapping of q is not equal to d end property okay so q is not equal to d and a should be i look at here here case should be 1 okay that's why we are using this one 
while case is 1 it should not be equal to q should not be equal to d right ok end property now we are asserting this property outside an always block always is present outside an always block we look at here inside an always block in the normal cases if a is equal to 1 then q is equal to d, uh, d uh, q is equal to d1 uh, default case is d uh, q1 is equal to d1 like that we are assigning but where we have asserted this property outside of outside of this always block right so these two are equivalent shall we go to next one okay okay next uh, clock resolution there are a number of ways to specify a clock for a property okay so the uh, first uh, point is within a sequence instance so this is an instance okay sequence sequence of having the name s2 okay inside that sequence we are mentioning at passage of clock a after two clock cycles b like that we are mentioning right okay now what is this we are enabling this uh, we are calling this sequence inside a property we are using this sequence as a property and <coughs> and not of s2 and end property okay so we are naming one uh, sorry the we are naming uh, one uh, property as a p2 and inside that uh, the property is not of s2 okay so s2 is what s2 is already defined sequence after that we are asserting this property so now we are using the clock inside a sequence that sequence is inside a property and property that property is enabled using the assert directive now we will see how we can use a clock within a property look at here here the property name is p3 and inside that we are using the clock pass clock clk okay and not of a after two clock cycle b we are asserting this property here now we are using the clock inside a clock property 